Valentine's Day, by the way, is just 10 days away. And so today, we are helping you get ready. Yes, we are in line with our theme for the month, Celebrate Love. We're showing you ways to spread a little love of your own this holiday. Designer Christine McKay is sharing her fabulous ideas for hip, handmade Valentine gifts. These are gifts from the heart because you make them, right? They are. You, you make them yourself. And I think that's what means the most. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I just got back from CHA, which is the Craft and Hobby Association um, trade show. So what I tried to do is kind of um, incorporate some of the hot trends that I saw at the show into your Valentines. So these are really cutting edge then. We, yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah. well, if you just saw them at <laughs> CHA, then as CHA, as I like Chaw. to call them. Yes. Okay, so what You're are we trying to start a revolution with the name? It's got to be called CHA. No one can you go it with Chaw. It's a secret society. In the secret society, <laughs> we call it CHA. Oh, so you're, you're a member, yes. Okay. So I, I picked five quick Valentines that you can do at home. And the fun thing about this is you can do them with your kids. So the first one that I did was, were these paper cones. Now, this is nothing new. You know, you've kind of been seeing, you know, I, I've even done them the before, before the little paper cones. Mm -hmm. But I decided to take it one step further and use an entire 12 by 12 sheet of paper to create a full cone. And I just want to show real quickly because I get a lot of people that ask me, do you need a special template to do, you know, to make one of these? And you don't. I don't even cut it down. I do it just like this. And all you'll do is you'll kind of hold it diagonally mm -hmm. and you just take both sides and you just fold it in. And as you do that, the bottom kind of comes to a point and you just work with it until it kind of lines up. Um, I think using the template um, you kind of lose a little bit of a uh, paper and so they don't make them as big so I really like to just use the full sheet but what's really fun about these is that you can either do it as a party favor they're big enough that you can put some stuffed animals in it um, or you know treats and toys but my favorite thing is to hang these off the back of a chair so for instance your, your daughter at school um, you, uh, you can have your daughter or even your son you can make a little boy one that you just hang off the back and then all the kids in the class can just pop the little valentines in the back a little, valentine enough, box. A little valentine Box. Or even if they don't do that, hang them on the back of the chair for dinner. And they come to dinner and they've got some old treats and something waiting for them at dinner exactly. time? Exactly. So not only, so back to the CHA trend, the thing that I just saw over and over again was paper and fabric. And it's been around, but this time it was just out of control. Everyone was just mixing paper and fabric crafts. And so I think that's really fun. Um, on this one right here, you can especially see that I added, you know, you've got your um, the paper and then mm -hmm. the lace and the lace up at the top and ribbon. So it's really kind of fun to do mixed media. You and, can, of course, Brooke's favorite part. That's yes. Oh, I forgot. The, I, this is bling. a Christmas ornament that I got at the end Christine. of the season. So really bling it up. You can also use burlap or fabric if you want to simply use a product called... Um, it's called fabric stiffener and you you just um, brush it on the fabric let it dry and then you can fold them just like these cones what, why am, when am I going to need that again? If you want to use fabric oh, as instead your of paper. Oh, oh yeah. for the entire thing. So yeah, not yeah, putting yeah. it on the oh, paper. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to use fabric as your entire cone base, oh, cool. oh. Yeah. How long does that take to dry? Honestly, just a few minutes. Oh, Maybe cool. 10 minutes. You know, be completely dry. This okay, is dark. great idea. Okay. What else? So the next one is I love vintage Valentines. So I decided to just get some of these little boxes at the dollar store. And these came in a set of three for a dollar. So okay. really inexpensive. And then I just decorated the top of the box with just some vintage um, paper that I had and then you take the lid off and this size is perfect because it fits <gasps> all these little mini oh, can uh, candy cute. bars and you can actually go to kmckdesigns.com and print off all of these little mini vintage candy you bars. You have these as a free download? Yes, you oh, can download it and do and these And those boxes. are just like the Crackle Mr. Good Bar yeah. little miniatures, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. Those are so cool. cute. Aren't those, those pictures? Fun? I just, I, you know, there's something about the nostalgia of Valentine's. Yes. It's just romantic. I love it. Can I see the cover? Yes. yes. Look at that. Oh, so I that's a it. quick and easy craft, totally inexpensive. Again, made out of, look at this. Would you have ever yeah. guessed? Yeah. Wow. It's just all cool. store disaster. Sorry. Yes. Uh, <laughs> totally. To Christine McKay, you know, creation. Very fun. So really fun. Okay, so the next one is, I stepped into the kitchen, which is a little scary. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Jaws music. But <laughs> these are called my kind of homemade suckers. And I'll tell you how I made them. Is you can get these metal molds. I actually got this at Walmart like a few years ago. So you just spray this with some Pam, and then you put, um, I'll have you hold that for if you don't mind. Then you just take these simple candy discs. 
Um, I purchased the um, the mint ones because I like the stripes. And you just lay them flat like this. You put it in your oven for about five minutes, and then you just sit and watch. When it's completely melted, you pull it out. You put a stick in it, and there you go. You yeah, put a stick in it when it's still melted. Yeah, when it's still kind of tacky. So you have kind of homemade suckers. Now what I did is I filled in the rest with a little bit of white chocolate. I pull, poured over the top to hide the stick. Now wands were hot at CHA. Wands were everywhere. So we made little sucker wands. And all you do is just add a bunch of bling, some ribbon down at the bottom. I did a little felt tag. So just really make I'm it something this around special. So people can can see how it just it just stuck on there. Cool yeah. stuff. So wands hot, totally hot. So for a little boy, you could do a star. So really fun. Okay, so now to my favorite, the kids' Valentines. Because I every year I do a Valentine's. Actually, today I used to do a little Valentine's party with my kids, and now they think they're too old. So <laughs> I found two of my favorite kids' Valentines. This one right here is my all-time favorite. Is this not the coolest thing ever? Hold on. It's a little iPod. And those are the earphones? And there? those are the earphones. What I, ever? Is that so fun? I got it off of uh, familyfun.com. You can go online and download the free template. And all it is is just paper that's been wrapped around a sweetheart candy box. Is that not the coolest oh, that's thing? Darling. So you just wrap the peanut butter cups with a little bit of tin foil, add some string, and there you go. And there's your earbuds. There you go. This Valentine is perfect for a kid or for Darren. He yeah, has earbuds say. in probably 75% of the and, day, and, and right? I'm just trying to block out people who might be sitting next to me or something. <laughs> no, not you not on your no. side. No, I'm talking about the Where's, other side. The my, other my side. This is right next to it. <laughs> so the last kids uh, Valentine that I have is once again CHA trend watch um, doilies 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 really everywhere and so what I did is I made this is out of a little roll of Rolos and the wings are doilies that I there's two little doilies that I've simply fanned and put on the back for the wings uh -huh. and then you can read the cheesy back I will always love you it's just how I roll ba -dum -bum. Ba -dum -bum. Oh. Care. Valentine's Day is a time <laughs> when you can let go of all cheesiness rules and just go for it. That is too cute. So yeah, so the the, the, the little antennas are just simply some wire with some bead just stuck into the top. So that one is just a really quick and easy fun craft. I think that's adorable. That's cool. Okay, great ideas for Valentine's, right? Yep, and my favorite, I think we're going to talk about a little later in the show, but I just have to say my the, my favorite project this time was edible cookie, uh, edible printer that you can print va um, vintage Valentine's on cookies. Yeah, we got to tell you, because we're not letting her go yet. These are some of the coolest things. We've seen these before. These are like really expensive in some places, designer boutiques, but you can do this yourself, right? Absolutely. You can do it at home and customize any event that you have. Okay, more with Christine coming up in just a little bit. Edible Valentine cookies. And of course, for more project instructions, you can go to kmkdesigns.com for those free downloads. Coming up next, a hair color technique where root touch-ups are not a problem. It's a hair color trend for real people. Studio 5 contributor Lacey Davis gets under the foils for a color mount. And non-greasy cheese sticks baked for your Super Bowl buffet. Don't make them for mozzarella. We got a better cheese choice with Becky Lowe coming up a little bit later on Studio 5. Yeah.